Today we're going to test the Miati Miati 6 amp hour battery that I bought on Amazon in May of 2020. So at the time of this recording, this battery is just over two years old. I think I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of like 25 to 30 bucks for this battery. It's small. It's a cheap, cheap Chinese battery. But I just got a new computerized battery analyzer they call it from west mountain radio the cba5 is the newest version they cba5 they had a cba4 cba3 before this i just got this new cba5 i'm going to show you guys the software show you what it looks like we're going to go through some tests and see how well this miati battery this six amp hour battery is held up after two years of use and being a cheap battery check this out Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. Like I said, we're going to test this battery. So this, this West Mountain Radio software, which I'll share with you right here, this is what the software looks like. You've got some different test features in here. I just installed this like two days ago. I didn't, uh, I did a test. Okay, quick backstory. I, I installed this two days ago. I did a test on the 20, the 20 amp hour, no, to the 24 amp hour battery from Gigaparts, and it passed with flying colors. So the only reason I did that test first, because I wanted to kind of test the software before I did a video about it. You're going to see that video upcoming. But for my first one, I definitely wanted to do this Miati battery because these get a really bad rap. People talk about these. They're like, oh, those batteries are cheap. They don't work well. They only last you a couple months. This battery I've had for two years. And every time I go plug it up to the truck, and it just sits on the shelf with a bunch of other batteries I've got normally. But every time I go plug it up to the charger to get to get ready to take it out to the field and use it, it takes like 15 or 20 minutes and it's fully charged. So that tells me that it retains and maintains its own charge very well. So we're going to test the longevity of this battery today. The way that we're going to do this, let me switch over to another screen here, is that this guy right here, this is the CBA5 from West Mountain Radio. I'll put a link in the description below. Purchased it at Hamcation, paid full retail price for it. I wanted to get one of these so I could do some battery testing. So the way it works basically is this thing is a big heat sink and it puts and it heats up your battery to use to draw down the battery. It uses heat to draw the battery. This is a big heat sink here with a fan on top. Very look looks very much like a computer heat sink. It's got a fuse right here. That's a 25 amp fuse. Power poles, that's where you plug your battery into. This light comes on and tells you different things. This right here says it's um that's like an external heat sensor or something. I haven't used that yet. I I read that what that was, and I, I was like, oh, that might be fun to play with later, but I haven't done anything with that yet. That, of course, is your computer interface, and that one right there, I, I forget what that, that port does. So it's, it's fairly simple. We're going to plug this in right here. I'm going to plug it in the right way so that I don't burn anything up. It does come with its own uh, uh, wire as powerful as on one end and bare wires on the other end. I already had this wire that I did up a while back, and this guy right here, it doesn't have the the built-in uh the built-in power poles the way like a bio winner or something does so i'm going to plug it into the computer right here via the usb b connection that's on it and now you can see this green light has lit up right there so we've got power just like that I'll switch over back over to the software here and i'm going to go test new test this is where i went yesterday and it brings up this information here. Once you click new test, it pops up this new window here. I had to kind of make sure it was showing in the camera. So it pops up this new window here, default profile. You can set new profiles here. I haven't really messed with this much. Test, we're gonna, I'm gonna rename this to myaddy underscore six amp hour. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go, okay. Now there, uh, file name is just whatever. Actually, I'm going to put the file name as the same thing. Boom. Because you can save the file. Once you run the test, you can save it and export it. And then you can send it to people and say, this is this is what the battery tested like. It's kind of a cool, kind of a cool setup there. So the, the cool thing is right here. Now, I could go through and set. You can set all of these different battery types. AGM, alkaline, carbon zinc, lead acid, lithium ion, lithium poly, LIFO4. That's normally what we're going to be testing. All these other ones down here. It's, oh, you can test a power supply. 
that's pretty cool. If you think your power supply is not performing adequately, or if you pick up a new power, a, a used power supply to swap fest or something, they're, they're like, well, I don't know how much power it is. You can test that here. That's kind of fun. We might do that later. Test a solar panel. Awesome. That's freaking cool. Okay, we're going to have some fun with this. This is going to be a fun thing to, to play with. So Life Pro 4 is what we're going to do here. If you see here, the, the voltage is... I know that's small on the screen. The voltage is 14, and the capacity is 12. That's um, that's the that's the last battery I tested. last battery I tested was a 24, but I don't know why that's in there. Maybe it comes up by default. Anyway, all you have to do is click on Detect. So it detects the voltage, but not the amp. So I put 6.0. Right there, cells is four. I don't know how many cells this thing has. Doesn't really say. This is rated at six amp hours and 76.8 watt hours. We're going to do some more testing with this up, up uh, in the future. I'm still getting used to this software. This is only the second time I've used it, so I'm going to click on start here. That's going to go away. It's going to come back to that screen. You see it kind of running right there. It started out at 14. It dropped down below 14 pretty quickly. It's at 13 and a half right now. This is a 6 amp hour battery once again. So I'm just going to let this run. Here's the, the we, have to, we have to play the waiting game now. So now I just have to wait for it to run, see what it does. You can see right here this light. The fan is running. I don't know if you can see that in the in the screen or not but the light is turned amber it's an amber color on this on the on the light now when it finishes the light will start flashing green you'll know it's done but that's where we're at right now so we're going to turn off the camera wait for this to finish and i'm going to come back and finish the video okay here we are and it's beeping at me i guess you can hear that in the uh in the audio it's beeping at me it's got uh it's got the finished product here it says it took it measured this battery at 5.654 amp hours which is a 94 percent efficiency okay uh 72.919 watt hours if you want to know the watt hours of a, of a battery you take the volts and you multiply it by the amp hours so a 12 volt battery at six amp hours should be about 76 watt hours according to the front of this it is 76.8 so it came in at 72.9 again 94 percent efficiency the test time was about 339 minutes which is just under six hours so that's uh i wish it would quit beeping at me okay that was it started beeping at me because of that <laughs> so all right, so that is what the graph looks like there. This is where it started. It was it, it stayed above 12 and a half volts for most of the test. Uh, it started at 14 here, dropped down to 13.5 right there roughly, and it stayed at 12 and a half volts for probably, I don't know, five hours. So I unplugged the battery because I thought that's what was making it beep. Turns out the software just beeps when it's done, let you know, I guess. I guess because it takes so long. The light, the LED here is back green. And I've got the battery here, and it's uh, <laughs> depleted. So, which you can't tell that by looking at it, but mm. the screen clearly shows that the LED or that the battery was depleted. So, two-year-old Miati, Miati, however you want to say that, six amp hour battery comes in at a ninety-four point two percent efficiency rating. Two years later, on this test, cheap Amazon battery. I haven't seen this battery in a while. Now, if you go to Amazon and search for Myati, I'll, I'll put a link below, which is an affiliate link. So you can click on that and go check that out. I haven't seen the six amp hour version on there in a while. I don't know if they're making that one anymore. So once I got this and I started doing these tests, I got on Amazon. I was like, okay, let's find some other really cheap four to six amp hour batteries. And I ordered three of them today. What are you going to do? See some battery tests upcoming. And I'm very interested to put this on a Bioeno, see how it works. I'm going to put it on some of my Renogy batteries and see how it works. I have a 200 amp hour Renogy battery. So I'm going to have to start the test, go on vacation, and then come back uh, late, about a week later and, and check the results on that. But this is a really cool software. I really like this. I learned about this. Honestly, I learned about this software by watching Will Prouse on YouTube. So if you guys haven't seen his channel, I'm sure most of you have. Go out there and watch that. But this is a really cool device. I'm really enjoying using this. Great results from this battery. You're going to see more battery tests upcoming. BioNO, PO4 Power from Gigaparts, cheap Amazon batteries, really great Renogy and um, Renogy batteries, and really great uh, BioNO batteries for uh, marine use as well that I've got on my RV trailer right now.
what other type of batteries would you like me to test? I want to do some power supply testing just because I can, just because you saw that drop down menu a minute ago. And I want to do some solar panel testing. I don't know if the solar panel test, I don't know if I have to put the solar panel out in the sun and then plug it in and say, oh, hey, it's pulling in this many watts. Well, your charge controller will do that. So I'm wondering exactly what it's testing solar panel wise. If I can plug it into a solar panel and it can tell me, oh, this is a 100 watt solar panel. This is an 80 watt solar panel. This is a 160 watt solar panel. I don't know if it does that. So we'll test that and see what what uh, what we can come up with between now and then. So put a comment below. Let me know what you think about this battery. If you have one of these batteries, let me know what batteries you would like me to test later. Thanks for watching today.